All right, hello, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing the OF40 MTCA first here on Carpathians, which admittedly is not our real favorite map of mine, but you know, we'll have to make do with what we have. Um, the OF40 MTCA, it's at 8.7, just like the regular OF40 Mark II, but it gets access to a 1,000 horsepower engine, and, uh, you know, that means that you can move around a bit faster than the regular one. Other than that, it really is the same tank, though. Um, same horsepowers, are not same horsepower. Different horsepower, same gun, same armor. And, uh, you know, it still is nice to have, though. Um, admittedly, I'm not sure if you can buy this anymore. Maybe you can buy it with G or something, but... Yeah, if you are thinking of buying it, uh, I would recommend, because I do find it quite fun to play. Now, uh, here, on this map, we're just going to quickly get rid of that time to IP there. He thought it was a good idea to go there. Evidently, it was not. Um, same for this, uh, whatever tank this is. I don't know what it is, but we'll just shoot him. Oh, that's an object 430-something. It looks like I got his breach there, so... I think it should be safe enough for me to move up here again. And, uh, oh, I guess we get his fuel tank. Fair enough. Um, that's my error. I don't really know how to shoot that tank yet. Okay, no, there's no excuse for that round doing, not doing any damage. Um, whatever. I'll just shoot him there again, and that should get rid of him. Now, as you can see right here, I'm already looking into their spawn, right? It's not even been, like, two minutes in the game, and we're already looking into the enemy spawn, which I find is quite interesting. Um, that round there just decides to not spawn at all. Which, uh, I guess is fine. Um, I guess that means that I can't push that anymore. So we'll just watch here instead. Um, maybe if something happens there, I'll look there again, but, uh, yeah, no, that guy's looking right at me now, so there's, uh, not a whole big chance I'll be able to do that again. I do see a tank right there. Um, and also tank right up there. Uh, how did he just shoot us? Uh, that doesn't matter. We'll just have to just repair because we should be in cover here from all sides. So, uh, yeah, I guess for now we'll just throw artillery on this guy right here and hope that our barrel repairs before, uh, yeah, before anything bad happens. Anyway, there we go. We are repaired now. This AMX has uh, since disappeared. I don't know where he's gone. But it seems like he isn't interested in shooting us. Ooh, there was someone right there. Um, like I said, I don't know where he's gone. Though. Maybe I'll just look right here. And I might be able to uh, pick off somebody. If they are unlucky. Looks like we do get an assist on that guy earlier. So that's always nice. So I can't really see anybody else though. So that means that we'll probably have to uh, engage this guy right here. And then we'll just quickly back up into cover before we get shot. And we do hear the tank right here. We'll just quickly get rid of his cannon braid so that he can't shoot. And, uh, yeah, then we'll have to, I guess, engage this tank right down here. It's because it looks like he isn't looking at me. Ooh, driver, gunner, does that thing have commander override? I don't know, but I don't think it matters because we also got his breach. So we'll just shoot the left side of his turret, and that does get rid of his loader. Oh, there we go. I guess we do see someone else here. Ooh, that's admittedly not a so great of a shot. I probably, uh, maybe should have waited a bit there. We'll just wait for him to push up a bit more. And then we'll be able to get him. Ooh, there we go. No scope. Didn't quite work there. I uh, shot a bit too high, but that's fine. Because we can just back up into cover. And not worry about the engagement anymore. Oh, there we go. We actually do manage to get a shot off on that T-62 by kind of moving around here. Sadly, uh, it doesn't spawn enough to get all of his crew members, so we do end up uh, only critically hitting him. And there we go. Looks like we do get an assist now. Uh, the Leopard that shot me earlier is probably dead now. Um, I don't really expect him to be alive anymore because our team has sort of invaded that upper area. And after they've done that, the game is basically over. I mean, there really isn't a whole lot left to do here. We'll just quickly get off another round on a T62. We kill two Crimson Mirrors again, and uh, I guess I have someone else finish out the kill. And uh, yeah, that really is the uh, 105mm APF SDS life, I guess. I think I'll just try watching here now. Looks like there's a Shilka right there. We'll just quickly shoot him, then back into cover. But as you can see, this map here, uh, in my opinion, I don't know, uh, maybe at low tiers, but the top tier, it's uh, not as enjoyable.
Hmm, it looks like we do get the uh, horizontal turret drive of that T-55 there. He just freshly spawned in. He's already getting shot. Um, yeah. Ooh, looks like they actually do manage to get one shot off there on one of our friendlies. I don't know from where that came from, and I don't really care either because he probably can't shoot me, even if he tried. I guess the team now, or the enemy team now, is kind of trying to go over there, but we do actually have a VADS kind of, uh, kind of watching that corner, so they are having a bit of difficulty dealing with that. Alright, I guess in the end there we get 4 assists and 5 kills. Um, you know, if we would have maybe uh, shot a bit better and spalled a bit more, then we could have probably gotten a bit more. But, uh, you know, it certainly is what it is. Alright, for our next battle here, we are on Vietnam. Now in Vietnam, I usually go into the city area just because uh, I don't like kind of being really slow in water. Instead, I like to kind of be uh, a bit more mobile when I play this game, so that's why I'm going over here. The point is also quite interesting because... Uh, you can kind of shoot through the fences there, or the walls, I guess. So people don't really expect you, or don't really know where they're getting shot from, but you can just shoot them because you have a third-person perspective when you're right next to the fence. So hopefully we'll be able to do that once we uh, yeah, get there. Alright, so far we don't uh, see many people. Never mind, we see someone now. We're just going to quickly shoot them through the wall here, and uh, then we'll just have to sort of hope that we reload on time. Also sounds like there's a tank to the right, and there's a tank to my uh, front left here. So I do kind of have to pay attention to that. Um, but yeah, no, the person to the right here is probably going to move up here pretty soon. So I should be definitely watching that. Um, there we go, looks like we see him. He doesn't see me, so we'll just quickly get rid of him there. There is, however, a person in front of us. Uh, somewhere like over here, so I'm gonna try and push him, or at least try and get to this wall here before uh, he makes it around the corner so that he can't just third person shoot me as well. Alright, there we go, and just like that we have uh, acquired ourselves three kills. Now luckily these fences are really small, so you can just kind of hide behind the next one here and wait for someone else to push. But so far... I don't really know where the other enemies are, and it looks like we've kind of taken over this area. So I think I'm just going to go follow this 2S25 here and try and, uh, I guess, get a bit more of an offensive position on the enemy spawn and maybe perhaps go to the B point later on. All right, now this is quite a dangerous area to be in just because this is like right in front of their spawn. So we're just going to kind of... Uh, slowly go by here maybe we'll be able to pick off one or two people but it looks like our friendly team is already doing that for us we do hear like someone behind this area right here so uh, you know we'll try and push that and i might go to the b point later on looks like it's a warrior uh, with the sound of the gun and also there's another person here somewhere hello wma301 uh we should definitely be uh careful about that guy there we go, gunner loader, and sadly... Oh, we, no, we do actually have to kill him, so that's great. Um, he may have scouted me, though, so that would be uh, suboptimal. Sounds like there's another WMA or a uh, warrior in front of me here. So maybe I'll try and push that guy, but we do have to be careful because, you know, the warrior isn't... Uh, well, it's not a very difficult tank to deal with, but you do have to be a bit careful with it, so... Yeah, we'll just shoot him here, and then quickly retreat so that we don't get shot from their other spawn right in front here. Now, what I've actually just noticed is that all our teammates on this spawn right here have all died. Which means that it kind of leaves it wide open to really anybody to uh, come and engage me here. Luckily, this guy doesn't seem to know that I'm looking right at him, so... Oh, no, he does know. How should I deal with this situation? I'll just throw in a friendly artillery strike on him. But I also do hear a tank to my right. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see how we deal with this situation. I can hide this rock and maybe deal with the tank in front of me first. But it looks like he's, like, moving in front of me here. So, I guess that's, uh, good and bad. Because that means they'll be both coming from the same direction. But that means that if I shoot one, the other one will follow right after. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Could be bad. There we go. We'll just quickly get that guy's dry, uh, breach there. I don't know how that killed his driver, but evidently it didn't because he's still driving. Um, now it sounds like... Oh no, those are friendlies there. Okay, great. I'll just quickly tell them that there are people right there and hopefully they'll be able to deal with them. 
Ooh, there we go. We actually get that guy's barrel, uh, which is exceptionally good. However, ooh, this is going to be uh, quite an interesting engagement because now T-55 may be repaired. But, uh, oh, okay, never mind. We'll able to be finished, able to finish that, and then we can just, uh, I guess, finish this guy off here. And then we can quickly retreat before any more enemies decide to uh, respawn here. It looks like they're capturing the sea point now, which means that they just gave us another thing to do, so that means we can just leave their spawn alone now. Uh, sadly, because I have this friendly helicopter here, I can't really hear what's going on here, so that doesn't really help me out, but I think he'll just be able to potentially just strafe the point if we're lucky. And if not, then uh, I think there's only three people in the enemy team, so it should be relatively safe to just kind of drive around here. Alright, sadly the tank here on the point has captured the zone now, but I guess that doesn't really matter since the game is basically over now. I'm going to try and go here to the right, I guess, then go to the left, but I don't think I'll make it on time to uh, capture the point. Maybe I'll be able to shoot him, but even that is, uh, yeah, I might not make it. But anyway, let's just try and see where this guy is. There we go. Looks like we see him. Oh, sadly, the game has ended and we uh, weren't able to kill him there. So in the end, we get seven kills, one capture zone, which, uh, you know, it's quite a good result, actually. I guess that does give us a total of 100,000 silver lines and 11,000 research points. This is, however, with a 15% booster, though, so you don't have to take this with a grain of salt. And uh, yeah, I guess now we can go to the next battle. Alright, here on Eastern Europe, usually what I do is I kind of try and flank around the uh, B point here, and you always have to be careful about people who kind of uh, cross this bridge over here, because sometimes there are sneaky people who do try and do that, and as we can see, there is already one person right there. We did shoot a bit low there, but luckily all of his ammunition was there, so that does end up uh, giving us one kill. There's also, looks like a T-55 over there, who we unfortunately bounce off of, I guess. Yeah, we shot a bit too high there, that's fine. Uh, he shouldn't be too big of an issue for us, hopefully, uh, later on. But yeah, I guess we'll just have to uh, watch out for that corner right there as well. Looks like there's somebody there. But I'm going to try and get behind this building right here, because here you can sort of shoot people who uh, try and go to the B point and can surprise a couple people if uh, they don't really notice you. Alright, this is a bit of an awkward situation here, luckily. Our uh, friendly SBA did manage to be bait for us, so that's very nice of him. Fortunately, he did also block my reverse path here now, though, so I guess he giveth and he taketh. But uh, yeah, we kind of have to deal with the chieftain here, who is very intently watching this corner here. Now, sadly, we also can't really... Oh, well, I guess we, maybe we can shoot through these dead bodies. I'm not quite sure if that's feasible or not. But, uh, you know, I guess we'll just have to see here. We definitely can't push that, though, because that Chieftain is staring us down. And it would be uh, not a good financial decision to push up now. But it doesn't look like he's looking at me anymore, so... I think we can sneak in a shot there. Looks like his commander is already dead. Uh, maybe I should have shot a bit lower there. Uh, but we'll just prevent him from moving there. I should have just shot his breach. I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, but, uh, oh, wait... Well, that's a bit too far left, so maybe I'll just aim a bit to the right here. Finish him off. And then we can uh, back into cover. Now we do hear someone maybe trying to flank around here. And uh, we definitely don't want that because our engine deck blocks us from shooting directly behind us. So we do have to be very careful about how we uh, engage people here. Oh, what was that for? Uh, I can't see anything anymore. Maybe we can just go right here. And, uh, okay, that's his track. That doesn't exactly help anybody out, but at least that does prevent him from, I guess, further pushing up and killing us. It looks like he's already looking down that corner now, though, so we won't be able to uh, engage him anymore. Ooh, there we go. Looks like someone else actually shot him, so... Maybe if we're lucky, we'll be able to shoot him. I didn't quite trust myself there, so that's why I... ...took a bit of time, or didn't take a lot of time to shoot him. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, that's... ...not great, but, uh, there we go. It looks like now we do finally get the kill on him. That was admittedly a bit weird to non-pen on his side, but... ...that's, uh, just the War Thunder damage models for you, I guess. 
there still is like a T-55 or a T-62 or something in front of us here. And uh, yeah, no, he's definitely actively uh, engaging people. So maybe we can actually engage him here. Oh, that's the engine deck of the XM1. All right, well, we don't want to be too happy here. I think we should uh, definitely be a bit more careful. Maybe I'll actually try and back around this hill here. But it looks like he is now focusing his attention towards me. So uh, yeah, we can't really be too optimistic about pushing him right now. All right, there we go. It looks like our teammate in front of us here, or yeah, our teammate to the left of us here, has actually dealt with the friendly or the enemy T62. So uh, yeah, that's great. Um, there is still, of course, uh, plenty of enemies here, but not exactly impossible to deal with. So we'll just, uh, I guess, slowly pick them off as they try and push the point over here. Sounds like there's still another like T55 or something. I don't know where he's looking. I don't know what tank he actually is, but he definitely exists. So we should be, uh, I guess, very careful when kind of moving around here. I don't exactly know where he is though, so... Since he's turned his engine off now, I'm not going to push because I don't know where he is and... Maybe I can use his guitar as bait though. Ooh, that was a tank right there that I could have shot. We just crossed the... That area right there. Should have probably been looking there. But um, yeah, I, I wasn't, so unfortunately that wasn't possible. Still don't know how that Gepard is still alive. Uh, I guess he's... Having an absolute grand of a time. Um, looks like he's starting to engage somebody. Oh, that's not a tank. That is a bush. Uh, looks like he's actually dealt with the tank, though. So that's really good for him. Um, I guess now we can slowly move up. That was a tank right there. That is still a tank right there. Okay, there we go. Uh, looks like we do deal with that now. And we can, uh, I guess, maybe go capture the C point. Although I'm not sure if I'll make it on time here. And... Uh, yeah, I don't necessarily need it, because I don't think I'll be getting a nuke this battle anyway. Instead, maybe we'll just focus on spawn camping them, and then the game will end. Alright, well, in the end there, we get uh, 6 kills, 1 assist. Uh, certainly not exactly a terrible result. I'd say it's pretty... Well, slightly above average, I'd say. Um, well, quite above average, actually. Um, but yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed this compilation of battles here. I mean, the OF-40 MGCA, it is uh, a very fun tank, so if you can buy it, uh, I can definitely recommend it. You'd also have a relatively strong lineup to go with it as well. Um, stuff like the VBC, the Chintaro, even the normal OF-40 if you want to bring that as well. Um, you know, I guess despite being a major nation, or no, major, minor nation, you still have quite a lot of tanks you can bring, so that's always nice. Anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed this video here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.